Hey, good afternoon, Angie M here. I just wanted to talk about Villa Beautiful's fountain pens and the fun stuff with the ink that those fountain pens have. Just grab some paper. Whew. And the reason I thought about it is I own these fountain pens, uh, Villa Beautiful fountain pen where I've almost used up the blue ink in it. I've got a platinum fountain pen that I got a while ago from cloth and paper. Same thing with this. Is this Cueco? Is that how you say it? Fountain pen that I also got from a, a sub box with cloth and paper. I did buy this little attachment from Jet Pens. They have them in gold, brass, and silver, and it still has had green ink in it. So it looks like greenish black because I did use the black fountain pen cartridge that I had from Villa Beautiful. So I needed more, more ink and from Villa Beautiful, they have multicolor packs, uh, the rainbow pack and then the pink and purple pack that you could get. And it, they each came with a pen, really, really, really reasonably priced. And I like the Villa Beautiful fountain pen. So I have that. I also have an extra fine nib fountain pen Woo, from Jet Pens. This is my Twisby. I absolutely love it. It is an extra fine point nib and I'll show you the comparison to Villa Beautiful in just a moment. It is a piston fill and because it's a piston film, I do have this Graf von Faber Castell. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, Cognac Brown, which I really love. It was the closest I could find to the juice brown, which is kind of a caramel color. This is a little bit more yellow. I also have coming from Jet Pens another uh, more economically priced extra fine point fountain pen and the short, the standard short barrel cartridges that are the same color from the same brand. But since the package came today for VB, I thought we'd talk about it and I'd open it. Again, I really do like, so make sure personal information doesn't get displayed. I think I picked up more than I, my brain thought I did too. All right, so let me get the stuff. <clears throat> out. I'm a pretty card. I've already got that. I'm going to set that aside. Are you the freebie here? I've already had this. I'm going to set that elsewhere. So I got two of the pink and purple refills, a set of black, and then I did get the multicolor pack, which is red. What well, looks like it could be a brown or a yellow. I'm excited to see what the brown is. Pink, green, purple, blue, yellow, a different shade of pink. So it looks like there's a light pink and more of a magenta e slash purpley pink, an orange and a darker green. And I do apologize, those do not come with pens. Pens must just be in the picture for information purposes. Yes, okay, now I misspoke completely on that. All right. Still, still reasonably priced. Um, if you want to purchase a pen, can you purchase a pen? Let's check out the website. Can you purchase a pen? I didn't read the descriptions clearly. Not unusual. Shop Villa Beautiful is the website. So I'm just going to pop on over to it. And then what I'm going to do is I am just, all these pop-ups, I really get tired of websites with tons of pop-ups that I have to go through before I can even do anything on the website. Personal gripe is a thing. All right, so the Villa Beautiful Fountain Pen Ink Packs, black, blue. So I've got it in black and blue in the pink and purple, which is in stock. The rainbow pack is not. All right, and clearly it says does not include a VB fountain pen again. 
no great loss to me. I wanted the refills because I will go through these fairly quickly and I already own fountain pens. So, all right, black refills I'm gonna set aside. I think I'm also gonna set aside just the straight pink and purple and we're just gonna go with this case. So the pink and purple in here is the light pink it looks like and the standard purple, not this other, other color. Let me see if the colors are actually named here. In the rainbow pack, let's see, written down. Okay, they do have them written down on one of the swatches. Red, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, purple, dark pink, light pink, brown ink. The brown ink will be interesting to compare to Faber-Castle. So I just wanna show you an extra fine point here from Twisby. It does give a little bit of skipping. So what I did was I pressed harder here at the end so that you could see it a little bit better. So if I just use my normal pressure, that's what I get. If I press a little bit harder, you can see how the eye here is a little bit thicker. This is again an extra fine point. I prefer extra fine point. I use an A6 planner. And a lot of times I like more college ruled, more minimal spacing on things, which some, some fine point pens can write a little thicker and certainly medium point pens are too much. And fountain pens work differently than your ballpoint or gel pens. So the, the amount of pressure that you apply can also impact the amount of writing that you get. You can also see on camera, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but to the eye, it looks a little bit more yellow. Here is a Pilot Juice Brown. This is a 0 0.5 pen. Now, the 0 0.5, you can see that it's on par with the extra fine. And you can see that this is a little bit more brown where this is a little bit more yellow. Not overly bothered by it. I will happily, I will happily use it. And unless you're writing next to each other, it doesn't really look different. If you are interested in this particular pen, it is a limited edition pen that is on jet pens, again, with the piston loading. All right, now I'm trying to think. I did not order any, I was gonna order another Coeco pen in a different color and I did not because I didn't wanna have it compete. So I have this guy here. I also love this little case that can be reused with, I believe these are all the standard short barrels. I don't think these are proprietary, particularly because I could use it in the Coeco and it hasn't leaked or been a problem. Let me see. Let's take a look at the pilot here really quick. I think this is a different, yeah, I think this is a longer, this guy's dry as well. So that literally the ink that's left in there is from, from the ball itself. So is this, I'm not going to clean it either. We're going to do this the sloppy way wherein I don't clean it. So, hmm. I'm, tr I'm wondering if this is proprietary. I don't know if it's proprietary, but it is different, which makes me a little bit nervous about trying to use it in here. I honestly don't know if this is proprietary. Um, let's see. Platinum. Well, the first place I'm going to check while we're talking is cloth and paper because that's where I got this from. And I think, th I don't think they sell this one any longer, but I think they have similar ones available again with more pop ups. Ah, brush pens, rollerball, water based, featured. Um, let me just write. Fountain. All right. 
I know they've got the Preppy Platinum, which is not what this is, and I actually did not like that one. I did try it, but there was something wrong where it didn't write. The Platinum Ink Cartridge in Blue Black is sold out but coming soon, it says. Refill your cartridge. So it says it's compatible with Kyuko and Platinum and Platinum Preppy. 0 0.3 fine nib. I did learn the Preppy pens are proprietary, some of them online. So I do not think I can use an ink cartridge with this particular pen. I think that this is one of the proprietary ones. I'm just gonna go to Jet Pens and see if we've got it on jet pens, and I, I wish I could capture this while I was doing it for you guys. I apologize. I am not set up for that. So I am unfortunately not able to show you what I am seeing on the screen. So fountain pens. Let's go. Manufacturer, which I think is all the way down at the bottom. So Platinum has an option, so I'm gonna click on Platinum really quick. I don't believe any, I don't believe this one is on here and it could be an older model or just one that's not so well known. So, try Platinum. Helps if I can spell. Fountain pen. I do have a converter. I, I do. I think I found... So it might be... It looks like it's the Platinum Meteor. I found an old page for cloth and paper that has the pens that appear to what be what I have purchased. Stainless steel 0 0.3 fine nib. So the nib for the platinum, see I can't even write with it, is 0 0.3 extra fine is less than that. Pull cap. Package in plastic tube includes one black ink cartridge and one refillable cartridge. Compatible with platinum ink cartridge, black, blue. But I want to know if this is compatible with other... I want to know what it actually takes from the manufacturer because that's going to dictate whether or not we can put this guy, which seems to be a standard size, in. <laughs> it's a good pen. It's actually one of my favorites. And it, it was like $13. It's a super affordable pen. I just lost my overhead light. It's, a, it's meant to be a super affordable pen for beginners. So this is the Nibs are fine 0 0.38 millimeters. I'm not sure what the shooting star engraving is because I don't see. Oh, 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 it's on the nib. It's on the nib. Okay, so that's that's the shooting star. Okay, so that's what I've got. <laughs> Low cost pen, cute, fun, great quality. It is really great quality. I, I actually quite like the pen. The patented slip and seal mechanism inside the cap ensures the pen will not dry out while not in use. And thanks to the faceted octagonal body, the pen won't roll away. I do enjoy it. I do quite enjoy that. It is feather light. It's got a snap-on cap instead of a twist-on cap. All right. The Platinum Meteor, like the Preppy, will take the Platinum and Nakaya cartridges and converters. In fact, the entire nib section is interchangeable with the Preppy and the Placeer if you prefer a round pen body but want the star imprint nib. So as far as I can tell, 
these guys aren't going to work the same and I don't want to try to press this into place and break this. Yeah, no, the width is just wrong. Okay, so now I'm sad I didn't order any of these because I was looking at these in different colors with a different pen. So I'm going to have to, at some point when I reorder, do just that because oopsie doodles. All right, so let's take a look at the pen I currently have. The blue is almost out. I'm not gonna be heartbroken if I pop this off. This one does screw completely into place. And I forgot to tell you guys if they have the pen available for sale over at Villa Beautiful. All right, so you can purchase the Villa Beautiful fountain pen. It is still in stock. It is clear with the gold, just as it says. This guy does come off, which annoys me only a little bit. And it is $8.99 USD, in case anybody from other countries, like Canada, hears me. So it is the same. I'm just going to <laughs> drop that baddie in the garbage. And all we do to get this in place is push down and it pops right into place. Super easy. Oh no. Where did that just go? All right. Ah, it flicked when I went to pick it up. And I thought it went for a little bit of a ride. So this is kind of going to be blurple for a minute. <laughs> yes, I am using blurple. Blurple's a thing. I might order more of these. Oops. Next time I do an order as well. They are quite nice. I price price wise, they're a fantastic price. Definitely can't be beat, and they're they're a beautiful pen to write with. I would highly recommend this if you are interested in getting into fountain pens. Let's see. It does not say there's a reveal video. I'm not gonna play the reveal video in the background. You can check it out on Villa Beautiful's YouTube page. I do not know. So it's a fine point because I see the F. It's an iridium point. I can see my purple. I love the way she writes. So. We're gonna just do some stuff until it kind of turns a little purple here, which should just take a second to clear what's in the barrel. Proper use, you would want to make sure that you are cleaning out your pens. I can see it kind of changing a little bit. I don't know in this lighting if you're gonna really see a big change because it is purple, but I can see the purple filling in the barrel. I really, I'm weirded out a little bit by how stuff splashes through here. I don't know if that's normal or not. It seems to be, which is something to watch for. I'm also noticing a slight difference, and maybe that will ease out in the way the ink is performing. So, for example, it turns into kind of a grayish blue as it dries in, and depending on the paper that you are writing on, this wouldn't be something I would recommend on super fine paper. That said, I have... I have used this in my in my moleskin, and if you're familiar with moleskin, moleskin can be a thinner paper, and it worked with that just fine. Come on, I'm trying to get to some blurple. I also notice, and this will change the more you write, when you first install the cartridge, sometimes it will put out more ink than it will once you've been writing with it for a hot minute. And that just has to do with forcing the ink in when it first flows in. So that, again, something to know. 
and I to my naked eye I can see I can see that it's a mixture of the blue and the purple but with so much light I don't know how well you guys see it but I can definitely see it filling through so I'm gonna keep using that we're gonna keep talking about these as we move forward I'm also going to have a video on pens that are not going to include my fountain pens that are going to be around the gel and other pens that I have. I feel like fountain pens are special. I personally really love fountain pens and writing with fountain pens. So to me, it's kind of a special experience when I get to do that. And with that, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.